Hi, I'm Vita from Lighthouse, and today's a really big day for us because we just launched. We're excited to get Lighthouse into your homes, but until then, we thought it'd be cool to give you guys an inside look at how the product and all the amazing technology in it came to life. We're gonna start things off with our founders, Alex and Hendrik, so let's see what they have to say. Hi, I'm Alex Teichman, CEO and co-founder of Lighthouse. And I'm Hendrik Dahlkamp, CTO and co-founder of Lighthouse. So my background is in perception systems for self-driving cars. Um, that's about getting self-driving cars to understand what they see, to understand what is another car, what's a bicyclist, what's a pedestrian, um, that sort of thing. Uh, I was super fortunate back in undergrad to um, to be exposed to that world through the through the DARPA challenges, uh, the DARPA self-driving car challenges, uh, you, know, uh, you know, races through the desert. It was back in 2004, 2005, 2007. Um, and uh, what really captured my attention about them uh, was, was actually less about the self-driving car aspect and, and more about um, the sensors that they used. Uh, I was super excited about um, how we could get computers to better understand the world around them, to better understand what they see. And self-driving cars were being made possible by 3D sensors. And so I started a PhD out at, uh, out at Stanford in the computer science department with Sebastian Thrun, um, and that's where, uh, uh, that's where I met Hendrik. In fact, because he was, uh, while I was kind of, you know, observing and kind of tangentially being involved in the self-driving car challenges, Hendrik was actually doing them and winning them. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> yes. Um, so I have a similar background. Uh, started with self-driving cars over at Stanford. Uh, I worked on Stanley. Uh, that was our entry into the 2005 DARPA Grand Challenge. I built the computer vision system, uh, teaching the car what a road looks like and helping the car find the road. So um, a spin-off we did out of the Stanford self-driving car project was uh, we built a demo um, where we drove all the streets in Palo Alto and you could click on a point on a map and it would just pull up uh, what the car saw when it uh, drove there. Um, turns out people like that, just seeing what the world looks like. So uh, we turned that into a startup. Um, we got acquired by Google and now uh, this is worldwide. It's uh, known as Google Street View. Then I, uh, yeah, I kept we, being friends with Alex, uh, and <laughs> then we decided, hey, we should do something together. I had kind of been playing around with some 3D sensors that would be more suitable for the home um, at the time, like like you know, cheaper and easier to work with. And I figured, hey, why don't I just you know, you know, plug these in at home and and see what would happen if I you know built a kind of a homebrew home awareness system. Um, and uh, and so I did that and and went away on a trip, and I, I found it was was really really good actually. Um, having the 3D structure of the environment is just enormously valuable in, in uh, providing the user with, um, with more valuable inputs. You know, r rather, than, uh, rather than triggering every time a shadow is moving, um, you get, you know, you can have it trigger only on when objects are, are like actually moving in the 3D structure of the environment. And, and that right there was, was pretty interesting. And we realized that, you know, hey, wait a minute, like, like that little homebrew home awareness system, that we can turn into something real, like, like really actually quite interesting, quite good. Um, and that's how we ended up building Lighthouse. Computer vision generally is an extraordinarily hard problem. And it's something we often don't think about as, as you know, humans, as like regular people. Um, we, just, we just look around at the world and we just we understand what we see and we don't think anything, uh, anything of it at all. I just look over here, I see Hendrik. Yeah, it's Hendrik, what's the problem? Why is this hard, right? Like what, this is so trivial. Like, but, but actually, this is extraordinarily difficult. Um, to get computers to do, um, and, and this this actually was a surprise to the uh, to the AI research community. Um, and, and what we eventually realized is that it is less about those kinds of structured problems that humans have to work at, um, and and like the hard parts of AI are really all about the things that humans are so good at that we never even consider as difficult problems. We're really excited about actually delivering on the promise of the smart home. Um, there's been this concept of smart home out there for a long time. Um, and some things have come out of it, but what it has really boiled down to is uh, is a connected and remote controllable home. Um, you know, it is it is great that you can you know turn off your your heat from 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 afar. You can turn off your heat while you're at work. That that is actually good. That's fantastic. Um, but uh, you know, really, what's been missing here has been this layer of intelligence in the home that can control all of these connected uh, and remote controllable devices. Um, and we see real potential for Lighthouse to be that. 
um, because it, it understands what it's looking at. And you know, who knows what the what exactly the the most useful integrations are there. That that's actually for you know the individual smart home owner to to come up with. So we're uh, so we're set up to uh, to give a demo to um, the CEO of one of the biggest employers uh, in the world, a uh, visitor from Asia. Super important thing, and it's in the really early stages. Um, of Lighthouse, and we had like just gotten the first version of the real hardware up and running, uh, and it was so early. We in fact like we we actually we only had like one that was actually working, and the you know the guys were working on um, on you know, and the team was was working on um, you know the the one one other that might be able to work later that day, um, and uh, and so we were like set up for the demo. It's eight in the morning. Uh, the demo is a few hours later, and obviously, somehow someone accidentally just like knocks it right off, right? Just like, that shatters, like, it's just like gone. You're like, oh, really? You've gotta be kidding me. Um, and, and so, so then there was, a, there was a heroic effort. Yeah, fortunately our head of operations uh, is actually uh, an amateur Lego race car builder. So he went home, uh, brought all his Legos, and we rebuilt our camera using Legos, like everything, like barely holding in place. And then we give a demo, and the demo works um, using our Lego camera, and the guy actually <laughs> loves it. I hope you guys like the first inside look at Lighthouse. And if there's anything you want to know, feel free to leave us a comment, and be sure to follow us. See you next time. Hi, welcome to the new season of Silicon Valley. <laughs> <laughs> Technology, drama, big money, <laughs> you'll have all the juicy details. <laughs> all right, well, what was I doing before Lighthouse? <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> <Ta -da. laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's okay.